Tara Reed is here from American Pie 2. We're going to bring her in. Tara, right this way. Here, Daniela. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? How's it going? Good. Good morning. What? Tara, you ready What's for your appearance today? I'm ready for Howard. I'm not gonna mess with me. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What, you think Howard's gonna mess with you? Well, Howard talks shit about me constantly, and I'm there face to face to tell him what's up, so. What type of stuff does he talk about you? What does he say about you? Uh, Tara reads the worst actress in the whole world. She should just quit her job, so. Oh, really? You can yeah. get right in here. All right. No, where's Howard? I want to go right to Howard. <laughs> no, you where's Howard? It's Howard. It's Howard in here? Yes, he's right in here. He's in there. In the corner. Whatever. In the corner. Where's Howard? Where's Howard? I'm gonna find him. He's on air. Where? He's right there. Where? Uh, he's in here. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he? Hi. You can't go in yet. You can't go in yet. You can't go in yet. Uh, you guys, man, they're killing me. Killing me. Is this my stuff? No, that's not. Howard's dead. Come in, let's have coffee. Good morning, Alice. Hi. How's the camera? Hello. Okay. You ready this morning? I am. You've perfected walking backwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch as I trip over multiple things. It's funny. So you excited about your appearance today? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I've never met Howard Stern before. So, you know, I just hope he's nice to me. You ready, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, all your other buddies are here already. What? what? All your other buddies are here already. Really? I've seen this on television before. I feel prepared for the walk. <laughs> We're still walking. You're walking really slowly, though. You want me to pick up the pace? It would be I've a nice gesture on your part. I've got to pick up the pace with you. You're in sneakers, I'm in stilettos, so it makes one wonder. I'm walking backwards, though. Yes. As am I, okay, interestingly. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Oh, this is exciting. It's the real thing. How you doing? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Natasha. What is it, boys? Um, the ladies of American Pie have arrived. Oh, good. We should get them on right away because, you know, they have limited time. Limited time. Oh, I'm they sure they have a very busy Gary schedule. said to me the uh, American Pie 2 promotional tour must be a nightmare. He said because Tara Reid came in with her people. Oof. Natasha Leone came in with her people. Allison Hannigan comes in with her people. <laughs> how many so, people do we how, have how here? How many people are there? <laughs> okay, there's three guests here. Yeah. I'll bet you there's... 15, 20 people in the green room. Wow. <laughs> Pete Diddy didn't have that much. Yeah. yeah. Pete Diddy only had like seven guys. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people, a lot of nightmares. I think everybody's got an agent and a publicist and a manager. Wow. And then uh, there's a movie people. You don't think they could uh, all get together just for this promotion? Yeah. <laughs> and send out fewer people? You know, I always laugh at how many people people have. That's but right. I always, it's the funniest thing somehow, like when I go to do The Tonight Show, I haven't done that in years, but when you, I go to do The Tonight Show or The Letterman Show, Suddenly, I look around in my room, and there's 57 people in there, <laughs> and I realize I'm one of those people too. I got, pe and somehow your people just get out of control. They, they just grow and You're grow and grow. You're not counting your people, and they grow. Like my agent will stop by, and he usually brings two agents with him because I guess they're working the room. Right. So there's three people right there. Then I always have Ralph with me. Mm -hmm. Then I always have uh, uh, someone from the show coming by, either Robin or or Stuttering John, or right. someone Somebody says, "Hey, shows up. someone shows up," and I'm like, "Hey, yeah, come on by." So now you're up to six people. <laughs> I know it's like a party. Yeah, you got like six people, and then there's always some other people, and then before you know it. They, they, they need to get you a bigger room. You know what? Th those were good times. Why aren't we doing Because <laughs> I refuse to do those shows anymore. Yeah. They're so goddamn boring. Oh, right, let's get funny. these ladies in, man. Oh, all right. And and Casey, <laughs> the intern who wants to meet Tara Reid, are you going to go golden shower his hand? Hey, brother, if you want me to do it, I'll hey, do go it. Go do it. Go do it. That's funny. <laughs> go out there case. and do that. He uh, acts like this is a stretch for him. Go wait, out there wait, and do your business. Done this You've done this before. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, but it, it's a couple guys in, in, in the dorm and stuff like that. I don't got cameras on me. Right, get out of here, <laughs> Tara Reed, Natasha Leone, and Allison Hannigan. And uh, Tara Reed is prepared to tell me off because she says I, she took the worst drubbing from me on the air. Oh, she knows about it. Yeah, and she's oh, here to tell you oh, all. Oh, yeah. I have respect oh. for her. There's Tara, who is skinnier than ever. Oh, my God. You girls are all so skinny. Uh, There's Allison hello. and Natasha. 
Natasha, Allison, and Tara. <laughs> Jeez, the girls Not, of American Pie are here. Tara, nice uh, belly chain and low pants. Man, oh man, oh shevitz. Uh-oh, sit down, she's sit on down. fire already. <laughs> sit down. Sit down, we can't hear you. You're going to tell me off? Yeah, you have you to... better be on the air when you do it. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Happy Hi, Tara. Well, thank you. Hi, Allison. Hi, Robin. And Hi, Tara. How are you? Hi, Where Natasha. You? Can I see you? The, I'm over here. Hello. The girls of American Hi, Pie 2. Hi, Robin. Hi there. Yes. Well, Robin, I've always liked you. <laughs> well, thank you. You know why you always stick up for your own. Yeah, All right. Yeah. I like. No, I like it. You <laughs> always got people. a solid opinion. I do have opinions. That's are you claiming true. to be one of Robin's people? <laughs> That's right. No, I like Robin. Solid. Howard, me and you have issues. But we do have issues. <laughs> we have huge issues. I met you in Los Angeles. How many years ago was that? You know what? It was a couple years ago. But you know what? <laughs> yeah. I thought it was nice to you and uh, definitely hated your shampoo guy, whatever his Ralph. name is. Ralph. Ralph. Well, Everybody that happens. And I'm not hanging around with Ralph. Anymore, Ralph so. needs to be fired from the show immediately. Ralph and you took an immediate dislike. He kept saying to me, we got to get Tara Reid out of the car. Oh we got to get her out of the car. Ralph, She's being annoying. Ralph is pathetic. He's the most <laughs> pathetic human being I've ever met. Like, <laughs> ridiculous. Wow. But there was a clashing that, what it no, was. you said to me, Tara, you're not so friendly to me. Because you're used to girls coming up to you and going, oh, how? No. Yes. That, that's not it. Howard. You no, I'm not. Howard. <laughs> and then I heard you, you on the radio. You, first Howard, of all, hold on, let me correct Howard. you. First of all, let me correct If you want to get into it. First of all, I don't expect girls to come up to me and do anything. I'm happy if anybody talks to me, man or woman. How did you two woman. wind up together? Here's no, what happened. David Spade's a good friend of mine. Oh, okay. So David Spade's <laughs> friend with Howard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So what happened was I had a limousine. I was out in Los Angeles. No, 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 no. I was newly single, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go to some of these Grammy parties. Okay. For once, I'm going to live large. Yeah. I want to see what everybody does. And by I, the way, that house party was amazing, right? Right. That I was the best been, party, like, of, by, by the way, probably ever in Los Angeles. Nothing like a rocking yeah. house party. Party. Well, let me tell no, you something. No, but it was insane. It was I've never been to any parties. Mm. I, I've been I've been doing this crap and invited to parties for 20 years, and I swear to you, I never went to one friggin' party. No, but I don't have issues with you that night. The only no, time I had issues with you, though. I, yeah, because you yeah. thought I wasn't so nice to you, but no, I'm not so were, nice off the bat. It no, takes work it to be my friend. I don't care if anyone's nice to me. Believe, most people don't even are afraid to even come up to me. What did I do right now? I came here after you said I'm the worst actress in the entire world that I should quit my fucking day job. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Not the F word. What are you drinking? <laughs> no one said I'm going to lock you up with Mariah Carey. the F word. <laughs> I did not say the F word. I said it because I'm really mad at him right now. All right, wait, wait, wait. I'll tell well, let me answer. That's another scotch. Let me Welcome answer. To the Thursday morning. First fight. of all, I applaud you for coming in here. I applaud you for cursing so early on. Wow. I'm ready. I'm ready. I applaud you for coming in here. I think that's great. I just like applauding. Yeah. And we will applaud. Believe me. That's right. Applauding is good. And we'll talk about American Pie too, but this is way more interesting. <laughs> this, we we went out that night, and you started in with me. I did not. Bad idea, About Tara. David Spade. Mm -hmm. Yes, because you... I'm out partying. David like Spade David is a big Spade. star. No, but, no, but you guys... David Howard, Spade. Howard, Howard tell walked me. into it, this private room party, right? And they <laughs> didn't let David in. And we got in. And <laughs> everyone great. got in the private party except David Spade. And they wouldn't let, let David in the room. That's funny. That's great. And I said to Howard, I'm like, dude, but David got, like, upset, you know? And I said to Howard... No, he didn't. Yes, he did. But no, wait a minute. You were no, in the no, party. No, no. You were in the How party. How do you know David was upset? Because I was outside trying to get him in. And finally, I walked inside and I saw the shampoo guy. And I couldn't find Howard. <laughs> Ralph, yeah. Ralph. And I'm like, Ralph, dude, David's outside. I can't get him in. Find Howard. Right? Right. And the shampoo guy's like... And I'm like, whatever. So I find I find Howard, and I'm like, dude, your friend's outside. It's David, and like, we gotta get him in. And Howard's like, ah, like, and I was I was mad. Imagine this. Now what let me give you my. I was mad because I'm a let, loyal friend, and I thought, you know what? That's not cool, dude. That's your boy. Can I give you my side of the story? Fine. Okay. First of all, the first thing you got to learn is people in Hollywood are not friends with anybody. Absolutely. It's only about who's hot and who's not. That's number one. These are my friends. No, they're not. They Bullshit. won't be your friends. They will not be your friends <laughs> three Tara, years from hot. now. They clearly don't like you. <laughs> they, yeah, they clearly don't like you. I already oh said so. God. Yeah. Dude, no, they Allison, love me. You're Allison right. told me you knew the, the times the three of us had in our trailer. They're jealous. No, but Tara, let me say oh something. Let me, let me answer you about that night. They're jealous right. of you. Okay. <laughs> 
By the way, um, Casey hit. Golden showered that guy's hand so he could be towered. Yeah. Did you know somebody <laughs> was here blood. who's so in love with you, <laughs> he was saying he would lick your shoes to meet you? Dude, <laughs> that's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> so instead, no, so we let had me, somebody Golden Shower. Let me explain myself that night. <laughs> I'm out on the town for the first time in the 20 years. I got to take you out, Howard. All right, you got to. But here's uh. it. I'm out for the first time in 20 years. I'm excited to be out. I had a car full of celebrities. Somehow, everywhere I went, celebrities wanted to be in my car. This is a big night this for me. This was the Courtney Love night. Courtney Love's the in the car. Boys Backstreet Boys. Boys in the, yeah, everyone's in the there. car, and I'm like, hey. It's a big night. I'm the toast of Hollywood. Tonight's my <laughs> night. All right? I'm no, feeling like a guy. right about this. We, we were with Courtney. Like, it was I'm all feeling like a princess, okay? And I don't <laughs> often feel that good, Ooh. especially lately. shampoo boy princesses. <laughs> Whatever. So I get in the car and you someone know, says, Ralph knows how to stick to him so he gets in. Someone <laughs> says to me, Tara Reed wants to come in your car and, and you know, she wants to go with you guys. I said, Great, bring her in. Fantastic. She comes in. I'm a gentleman. I let everyone in the car. Mm -hmm. Why not? So Tara gets in there, we all we go to party, we go into this party. There's three I levels. I got them in the party. You got me in? Uh, I don't think so, honey. The second Whoa. party, I got everyone in. Honey, honey. Uh, no offense. Goodness. You got in the first party. All right, you got me into the party. Uh, I'll go with that, okay? <laughs> see, you see why I have clashes with her? Oh, my goodness. That's annoying. She you thinks she got like me. You two like oil and water. Right, this right. is never going to work. The typical broad. <laughs> yeah. Can you so imagine anyway. these two having sex? Hey, you just call me a broad. Sex is a different story. <laughs> yes, I can imagine uh, me having sex with Tara. That has nothing to do with whether I like or not. I'd rather not, but that's just me. Allison wants to imagine us having sex and that's okay no, but here's, so group. here's the deal Tara mm -hmm. so I say so I, I get I, there's a long yeah. chain of celebrities behind me we all get into this party Tara comes up uh, David Spade David Spade David Spade I go <laughs> well, I, I'm talking to Goldie Hawn's daughter I'm talking to Courtney Love I'm talking to like a lot of people that I want to they talk to they came with us guys <laughs> that's he's talking to them it's very hard it's very hard for me to keep track of this whole group to keep track of a group I'm not a camp counselor I'm no. just a dude okay you know what, blonde, the blonde the blonde thing it's yeah well no 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 but Tara Reed comes up to me and she says come on you gotta get David Spade in I, meanwhile there's a whole party going outside of this that there's tons of people uh, you know, there's tons of people. This is outside. a boring story. Let's get on a new topic. All right, right. So what? we, so, so. What do we care? Then we it's rub over. each other wrong. All right, let's get I'm on a different. I'm not mad at you anymore. I forgive you. You do forgive me. I forgive That's you too. That's why I'm here. All right, I'm glad we made up. All right, I'm, I'm, made up too. I'm really angry. Well, I'm not sure why, but I'm sure I'm angry. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll walk out of here with a fight with me. <laughs> Everybody else seems to. All, all right, right, all right, Tara. Next why? Subject. All right, let me, let me, let me get a couple of things for Tara first. Then I'm gonna move to Allison and then Natasha. Why were you engaged to Carson Daly? Is he really that attractive? I know I'm not attractive. He's not attractive either. No, he's not. He's punk. not. Be I honest. I say that. All right, guys. He's a punk. To describe <laughs> how you... <laughs> You got a good career going. You got you got Why some fame stop going. There? Why stop at the Carson Daly train stop? Well, mm -hmm. Jeez. You guys, first of all... Were you hypnotized? Yes, he must be a hypnotist. <laughs> That's what I don't no, think no, no, he's I'm that hot. Is he... Girls, is he a hot guy? No, you're not really my style. All right, you guys, he's Allison? not. He's got that puppy dog quality. Yeah. No, you know what? not so dog much a puppy quality. dog. No, no, no. no. Yeah. no. You guys, you dog. know what, though? Apparently it's a dog house. house. There's a side of Carson. What I'm am honest. I missing? Dude, we you guys see them. me. I'm not, like, the most, like, like uh, uh girl, you know what I mean? What's uh, uh girl? What's an uh, uh girl? Yeah. An uh, uh girl's like soft, mushy, and like retarded. Okay. You know, I, I can right. hold my own, and I definitely am not gonna like a weak guy. You know that. Yeah. He's, he's not a weak he's guy. He's not a weak guy. Of him as a weak guy. Doesn't he wear sandals? <laughs> no, he doesn't. With wear socks. Doesn't he dress really bad for a TRL? Uh, you know what? That's on his own fault. The stylist should be fired, just like your shampoo guy should be fired. The stylist should be fired? Doesn't Absolutely. he have any say over what he wears? He does, but, like, you know, he's a guy. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't pick that stuff. But he's not, you know what, you guys, honestly? Your best friends are telling you he's not good looking. Would you ever date a guy who didn't have a stylist? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Artie, I Artie. actually like them better. Artie, I like guys that can't dress. My guest, my guest shirt? <laughs> I love your guest shirt, baby. Oh, you look good, you. Artie. No, but you know what, he's honestly, guys, seriously, he's not a bad guy. He not really a bad guy. Why did, you, be fired. Why did you break? up with Carson Daly. We've lost Natasha. <laughs> why, why did you break up with Carson Daly? Natasha's losing your mind. I, um, oh, I'll get a hold of Natasha. Because, uh, you know, I'm away too much. I, I do movies and he's in New York and I can't be in New York. And, and she's truth, far better looking. Wait a minute. Wait isn't a the minute. truth that uh, he was cheating? I'm not going to, no. There wasn't he going to strip clubs? We heard the, the quote, the trust was broken. Yes. What does it mean? Did you say that? Yes. The paper she said did. that. The paper <laughs> said that. Did you say that. it? But did, did you, you say it? Did you say it? 
Did you, you know say? What it is? I just didn't trust the stylist, so I had to fire everyone all together. No, 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 the whole no. team. You, why? Why the shampoo would you trust guy, the stylist, and all? A girl like you, Howard. you're good looking. He cheated, didn't he? Guys Howard. will always be dogs, won't they? They look like dogs, like Carson, and they will. <laughs> they are. He's a dog. He's a dog. No. He's a good guy. No. I, all right. Let's if I'm Carson Daly, I would not cheat on Tara Reid. You would. I'm not sure what that means, why but I right? know that much. I concur. Okay. Yes. So you're nice now guy. I read. That you're dating. That's a hell of a pun. Now I read <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not. that you're dating a Wall banker? Street guy, a banker, international banker, international banker. <laughs> all, right, all right, guys. First We're, of all, his name is Jason Eater. Yeah. Second of all, he's a good friend of mine. How old? He's like, he's, I'm not dating him. He's a good friend of mine. Though. You're not doing him. No, absolutely no. not. Have you had sex since Carson Daly? No. You have um, not. Oh no. come on! I swear to God. Uh, no one believes you. What are you doing later? <laughs> guys, weren't you guys <laughs> actually holding out till marriage? Because that was what I no, heard. That's uh, I'm not going to name other that's names. That's such that a lie. Simpson? That's a Jessica. lie, right? Jessica Simpson. I was sure that was. <laughs> you were holding out till marriage. I don't no, believe no, that. No, no, absolutely not. We're I'm making out oh. till marriage. Isn't he like religious or something? Like Jesus? No. Uh, they say he is. That's why they don't play music on TRL because of the Jesus rock that he's really into. <laughs> yeah, no, Wait a minute. Yeah. They were the ones. I, t I said I was getting sick of them making out all over Manhattan. Really? Because yeah. they would go to every nightclub and every restaurant and canoodle. That's when I knew the relationship was <laughs> not was doomed. When yeah. you have to make out in public that much, it never lasts. Babe, mm. but I'm into a guy. I like to make out wherever I am. Let me tell you all something. Right, baby. But that only goes on for a few months. You're right. That's why I guess and, it didn't work. And then you wake up and see the real person. I know. Then you're ready to head for Z Hills. Well, you know, an engagement anyway seems like a fun idea, much more fun than marriage. Yes. So I agree. So I think that that's maybe what actually happened, Tara. I would be engaged. Uh -huh. I wouldn't that, that get married. That was the fun thing. You yeah. Just that's getting right. Tara was okay. engaged. I don't think Tara ever had intention of getting married, and I think that that is why the marriage is uh, Is that oh, true? That is the real reason. She had a pretty ring. A hell of a ring, which I'm sure she kept. But they she's, had a you know, date. They actually had a date. No, you know what? We a date to stay engaged. Yeah, you had a date to get married. Married, yeah, though, you I did. did. No, a we date did. to you were, were you, I mean, were you scamming us or were you really going to think? Were you really considering marriage? Dude, I got. I, you know how much money I lost on the wedding? How much? Yeah, they had the a dress lot. and everything. Well, you shouldn't uh, have hired Jennifer way. Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> did you send out. That was your first date. Did, you did you send out invitations? Well, no, we stayed up, save the dates. You had the dates. Where were you going? Where were you going to get married? At St. Vincent's Ferrara or whatever it's called. St. Vincent's Ferrara? Abel Ferrara's Church of the Holy. What is St. Vincent's Ferrara? It was some church. He, that's where it, whatever. And where were you honeymooning? Were you not in... No, but then we were going to have the, the big party at the Rainbow Room. And that's where we lost, like, all the money. Really? Uh, wow. It'll get you every time. That place is and like hell. It's like walking into hell. Like everything else. It was ridiculous. So, so who, how, what does he do? He, when it's that public, is it embarrassing when you break up after all the canoodling and all the... You know what it's like? <laughs> dude, come on, Howard. You, you yeah. got divorced. You saw it. Like, you just don't want Very to deal with it. It's, it's horrible. You, you very know, hard to deal with. Yes. You're just like, you're like, I'm dealing with this by myself. It sucks as it is. Everyone get out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> A very sad story. A very special oh, come on, Howard. You know you went through the same thing. <laughs> Reed explains the whole Carson Daly thing. <laughs> very special. I'll leave him alone. They though. booked He's the Rainbow Room. <laughs> Is he good in bed? Up next, his style. Yeah, he's good in bed. He's good in bed. You wouldn't marry a guy who wasn't good in bed, right? Please. He's good in bed, and he's a good guy. Did he know how to rock your universe? <laughs> he rocked my universe. Really? Absolutely. You had orgasms he's with him. The TRL. I always have orgasms. Really? <laughs> I'm a very orgasm. Well, try having sex with me. I guarantee you, you won't have an orgasm. <laughs> you, don't <need> Carson, <laughs> try yeah. orgasm. you get into bed good. with me. I can't believe you had orgasms with yeah, honey. Carson Daly. Try having Daly. sex with me, too. Hey, yeah. you know, Guys, I saw this have There's a bunch right of guys now. in this room. We're going to bang you. You're never going to have an orgasm. That's right. That's not right. We are so into our own pleasure. They'll make that sure of it. Right. Women be damned. Did this just become a gang rape show? Well, yes. I'm not, I didn't know anything about the gang rape. Allison, take off your clothes. Yeah. You know you want yeah, it badly. You won't have an orgasm, and you'll be expected to make right. waffles. Is the, that really sex? <laughs> so you're telling me that Carson Daly got you off? I, yes, I am. Multiply. Dude, honestly, if we didn't, I would like think about it. If I really didn't like him right now and I was that mad at him, I would be like, Yeah, you tell. Mad. But I, yeah. I, I've seen you in action. You're a party girl. I would think you'd want a dude who's going to spank you, rough you up a little bit, give you vibrator action. Yeah. You know, do some weird stuff. He's not going to vibrate you. All right, guys. See, he I ever see Tara's wearing the strap on herself. That's always right. how I've seen you. I don't see you wearing a strap on, but Ooh. I see like me coming out with the vibrator and working her over a little bit. All right, guys, first of all, Go I ahead. need a vibrator. I need that. No, you don't.
Have you ever I, tried I, one? I, uh, yes, I have a vibrator. Wait, but you do? <laughs> wow. God, and I was always knocking on the trailer. You want to have a cigarette, listen to music? <laughs> cigarette. I hate the Stooges. Give me a vibrator. <laughs> no, I'm sh- You're shaving your legs with the electric razor. Right? I'm shaving my legs. <laughs> uh, One away. second. I've got a horrible jet lag. Tara, you need to tell me. The, the, he, he doesn't get wild. But you, if you're going to get married, you got to get someone who's going to be really wild. You know that, though, Howard. I'm me too. Because I know, before. I know it. Why are we talking about him? Stop. You need a guy, all three you need a guy, who's going to come in the room and, like, you know what, tie you up. We need a guy that looks Do like weird that stuff. You know what I'm saying? You we know. need Mickey Rourke. We Ladies, Jesus I say we go, uh. seek Mickey Rourke out, find him, strap him down. and Mickey Rourke? Well. Yuck. How dare you when you're sitting here with me? <laughs> yeah, why go get Mickey? No, why get him you're when you got right me? You're right here. Yeah, we're all, the, all the pleasure's right here. <laughs> all right, Terry. Now, the last question is the Lizzie Grubman incident. Oh. You are the key witness in the trial. No. But you guys, you know what? How am I the key witness in the trial? You're really not. It's, you it, were there. They went after someone famous. Through 150. To, like, honestly, like they're like the whole thing is ridiculous. First of all, they're just trying to like throw like a, a celebrity's name involved in it. That's true. I wasn't in the car. I wasn't with her like at at the club. I was never at the club. You were with her at the party before. Yeah, but that was like earlier <laughs> in the afternoon. You should go into law. <laughs> Think about it. That's like that's like if we went to lunch together and something happened with you at dinner. Mm-hmm. How do I have anything to do with it? No, you, you have nothing. Tell to, us I really do. You much. have nothing to do with it, but they want and to now, know. Now, like the police want to talk to me, and I, oh, have you talked to the police yet? No, but I'm not going to because I have nothing to do with the whole thing. Right, you I'll refuse you. to talk to the police because right. I, you know I I have nothing to do with it. I really don't, and mm-hmm. like I can add nothing, and I'm not gonna talk to them. So they could say Tara said this, whatever. You know what? Is Lizzie if they Grubman your friend? Me, they'll talk yeah. to me in the grand jury. Is Lizzie then. your friend? Yeah. Lizzie's a great girl, Howard, and you better stop ragging on her. Well, I'll rag on her. I don't care. No, you can't Howard, run I, over I mean, 16 people, leave the crime you know scene, what, no, and no, tell me she's what? a great person. No, you, you know, know what? what? So rage is okay. What? No, you, you know what? I gotta be honest with you. Honestly. Yeah. Have you ever? Do you drive a car? Yes, I do. All right. Have you ever on mistake like? I've done it before, like... Yeah, run over 16 guy. people and not stop? <laughs> well, Come on. What have I been saying? But you, you go ahead. No, 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 I, I don't no, no, no. Go ahead. Wait, wait, go ahead. Wait, turns out, you guys. All right, go ahead. I've done it in a million... Not, but you, she didn't mean to, first of all. You've either. run over people. No, but it wasn't, it wasn't about that. All right, go ahead. Stop laughing, because I'll get pissed. Okay. <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> no, like, but, like... I've, I've hit my car like you thought it like it was in drive, it was in reverse, Go ahead. and like you hit it and you're like oh shit, and you like well, back into a pole. Right. Except right. there's a building behind her. You know what right. I mean? Like right. it wasn't like. So honestly, wait a second, wait a second. But that's the day she also I found have... out her mother that day. She found out her mother had cancer. Okay, okay? understood. She understood. was not drunk. She was not like on any like she was fine. Like she, she was, was not just, drinking that night. No, she was not. I swear, I know Lizzie, and she was not drinking that night. That's, All right, that's what the cops want to know. You should tell them that. Tell that would help her. Well, I'm telling the whole world right now. Like, right. Why you know? tell the pigs when you can tell Howard Stern? That's right. <laughs> well, I don't know if I want to say that. <laughs> but, you know what, Howard? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, you guys, yeah. I would really appreciate if you guys, like, honestly, stop making fun of Lizzie and, like, this Did we make fun of Lizzie? What else are we going to do? What else? What, no, what, but what I, I mean Now, that. I can't talk about Carson Daly. I can't talk about Every Lizzie. Day. What's left? Let's, what Gary Condit and Pick someone else. Pick, like, that little. Little kid from whatever, different strokes. But you have a lot to gain. Oh, why Gary Coleman? Poor Gary Coleman. You have a lot to gain from being friends with Lizzie Grubman because you're a friend of hers, and if you come on this show and you praise her, you're going to be invited to great parties. Oh, please. You know what? I'm like not invited to parties anyway. That's important to you. But I will say... And oh, please. You're a party Howard, girl. I'll take you with me and I'll even let you in. A lot of your rich friends will <laughs> no, praise you bullshit. for doing this. Lizzie's let me a great you. girl, you guys. Let me this ask is you a girl that I've been friends with for like five years. Right. Honestly. And yeah. like, you guys both know me. But she's very rich. But what I don't give a shit if she's best, rich. Stop saying the S word. Terry, you have to stop cursing. Because nobody's going to hear anything you say wonderful about Lizzie Grubman. She's very rich. She can take you on very great vacations with I can take myself on very great vacations, I know, but it is fun to hang around with the rich and powerful. But so are we all. Really? Yeah. Do you know those two girls' first names? Name them right now. Allison and Natasha, two of my closest friends. All right, so my point is... No, my point is that she's a great girl, you guys. She's been a loyal friend, like... There's I'm something not saying about, like, she's something not a great says girl. about loyalty, and Lizzie's been a loyal friend and a and a great person my whole life since I've known her. Before and I drop the subject, <laughs> take it from my viewpoint. I'm I know guy, it looks, re- it looks I'm ridiculous. I'm a guy reading the newspaper, and a woman ran over people in a parking lot and left the scene of a crime. No, she didn't though. She didn't leave what? the scene. No, she. Well, how do you explain. know? You said you didn't know anything about this. She didn't leave the scene of the crime. She what was there she for like ten minutes and like uh, had a panic attack, and her friends took her away. I mean, that's not her fault. Hmm. Come on, if you were over 16 people, you'd have a panic attack, too. Hmm. I'd probably pass out. 
That's yeah. what basically what happened. Like she was in shock. Be, it's like, I would. I would. Oh go come on, you, 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 you know, you, if I did it, I would do the same thing. And she didn't mean to. It was like, it's one of those things that was a freak accident. That's all that happened. Wow. No. And people need to give her. And guys, you know what? Her mother just died. Uh, well, listen, I understand. That, I know, but, but you like, can't you know play what? that card. This is no, 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 something no, that happened. No, no, no. You can't play on the card, but like. Everyone just needs to leave her alone for a little while. Like she's she's dealing with a lot of hard stuff right now, and I think everyone needs to just back off. What about Mariah Carey? Same thing. I don't care about Mariah Carey. No, yeah. let's finish her. her. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> she can get you in the way better party. <laughs> right. I don't right. care about Especially her. Especially in the, uh, the ward. And Tara, what type of jeans are those? They're almost you can almost see your pubic hair. These are the jeans Frankie you were talking about, where they get lower those and lower. Frankie and lower. B's. They're better, baby. What are they? Belly dolly. Belly dolly. Yeah. I tell you, if I had a there flat belly, I'd wear those too. Denim. I would wear those too. Get yourself some belly dollies. All right. Now, belly let's go to Allison. Please. Allison Hannigan is on Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Our favorite Mike. show. Our favorite Aww, show. Thank you. Hey, Howard. Yeah. You should know that Allison wore a special push-up bra just for you today. Yeah. 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 Sure. Really? <laughs> that's not. That's yeah. not her bra. Why? Why? Okay, this is me. Allison, why do you do that? Why wear a special bra for me? Because are you in love with me? Because I have a little boobs. Are you in love with me? Yes. You are? Sure. If you'll be nice to me. Yeah, I'll be nice to you. I'm a little scared of you. You're me. not going to defend Lizzie Grubman, are you? <laughs> Get off, Howard. You're not going to yell at me that David Spade has to get into the party, are you? Howard, I thought we made up. We did make up. Yeah. We did. Yeah. I um, guess we did. Howard. <laughs> has Sarah Michelle Gellar, the star of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, You're ever... You're the hook now. Has she ever run over people? <laughs> Howard. And if, it, if she has, has can we talk about it? Right. <laughs> um, I've ac actually never met Sarah Michelle Gellar. Uh, <laughs> now, let me ask you this. Ever since you took on your lesbian character in Buffy, uh -huh. when you came out lesbian... I've had 50,000 people say to me that Allison Hannigan in real life is a real lesbian. Really? That's and that's true. why oh. they wrote, hold on a second. Tara, you're, you're already answering for her? I get yes. one lousy question and you're going to answer for her. Wow. You see why I get mad at you? It's terrible. This is hers see, to well, answer. I don't find that insulting. I think that's cool. I think, I mean, it's People not. have said uh, that so the So are reason, you asking her, is she or isn't she? Is that Are you a lesbian? <laughs> no, but I play one on television. <laughs> All right. Have you, no. had, have you ever had a lesbian experience? Not sig like a significant, I mean, I've kissed girls, but. You have? Really? But, yeah. Oh. What's up with that? It was more to like tease the boys. <laughs> That's significant. <It> yeah, <laughs> I usually perform oral on men to tease yeah. the girls. <laughs> You're saying that you have dabbled in lesbianism. Uh, just so you can just if for you fun. think that's dabbling, just sure. Just for fun. I, didn't, I, didn't, I thought it was just... Uh, Kissing a broad, yeah. Yeah, that is fun. That's Why don't you kiss your two co-stars right now? And let's see what that looks that's like. That's right, baby. Tara, what about you? Have you kissed other women? No, actually, I'm into guys. You are and into besides, guys. I, I love kiss, guys. I kiss a girl on TV. All the that's time. right, you that's do. That's true. And the girl you kiss on TV, is she a lesbian? No. She is not? No. And Buffy the Vampire is a lesbian. Is yeah. a lesbian. Is a lesbian. <laughs> what do you think of Buffy the Vampire Slayer coming on my show and saying that her name is not Sarah Michelle Geller? It's Galar. Yes, we make, well, I mean. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. It's yeah. Geller. It's, it's a Jewish name. Wow, that's a wow. And she yeah. says, uh, it's, or I heard that show and she said, Galar. Galar. <laughs> have you ever heard her say Galar Eat before? Eat a steak. Like, me, do you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> yeah, Galar. Yeah. Um, uh, I, yeah, I guess she just says that a lot of people think it's easier to say Geller, so, or, you know. But I've never yeah, had it's also easier to say Kike, as a matter of fact. Exactly. <laughs> Sarah Michelle Kike? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think Sarah Buffy Michelle the, Kike. Buffy the Vampire hey, Slayer Kike. Hey, I'm going to watch me that Buffy the Kike Slayer. <laughs> Kike Slayer? She, <laughs> Buffy the Kike is Slayer. She going, is she going, is she? Leon, by the way. I have nothing to do with it. Buffy the I, I stand by it, Chase. By the way, by before I uh, continue the interview, is there any amount of money I can offer any three of you to show me your breasts? No, I are. Ten isn't. bucks? No. I'll actually do it for a million dollars, to be honest. For a million? For a million dollars. Mm. How about three grand? <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> we don't think we can raise a million. I could get you three I mean, grand. I don't know why anyone would want to see oh, Look at this. $10,000. $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Big one. Of I want money to the first no. gorgeous actress who can show me her boobs. And no. Tara, don't say but you don't want you, to Sam. show them to me. Howard is not happening. Yeah. I, 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 I do hate thongs, and I actually wore one today knowing no one would see it, but just wanting to know that I wore a thong on the show. Come tell you, I think yeah, I've spoken out against them. By the way, I I'm wearing no a thong underwear. today. You're not wearing any underwear? 
Right? You can't with those, right? Oh, no. My, oh, my God. Allison, what do you wear? Is she trying oh, to tease you Carson wear Daly these now? these underwear. They're really, really low. I don't need to La tease Perla. Carson Let's Daly. Let's see them, right? <laughs> they're, they're really low, and really? they're for those kinds of pants. Uh, now, money go. Now, <laughs> Allison. <laughs> money yes. go. It's off the table I mean, already. <laughs> is there another season of Buffy the Vampire Slayer coming up? Of course there is. There were two more seasons. There were two more seasons. UPN. UPN coming up. Yes. And Sarah Michelle Galar has signed on. Galar. Galar has signed on. Now, wait a minute. What happened? Because at first she was saying if they took it off the WB, she was leaving the show. Right. Yeah, I read that as well. And Sarah Michelle Gellar is dating <laughs> Freddie Prines Jr. Well, they actually got engaged, Howard, and I don't know if they're engaged just to be engaged or engaged to be married. Yes. They're like me. <laughs> Freddie, Prince. Freddie Prince Jr. is Carson Daly, for the yeah, record. Right. Interestingly. Exactly. Aren't they the same guy? They may as well be, let's be honest. Aren't they interchangeable? In the <laughs> Boring. Come on. Come on. They clearly have different styles. And aren't they, in fact, Jews? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I don't like the way that right. Freddie the prince yeah, looks. <laughs> <laughs> Some about that kid. Tara, by the way, is Carson Daly hung is or is he, hung? excuse me, is he small or is he hung? He's hung like <laughs> a horse. Is baby. that true? Is that true? Honestly, he has a big old. He does. Okay, Tara. Get out of here. Uh, really? Carson Daly's big. I think it's called a what's it, actually. A big old what's it? Yes. Yes. Now mm -hmm. we get it. A hell of a what's it. <sighs> Allison, who are you dating? Ladies, that doesn't mean you have to go after him right now because he's hung like a horse. Is he circumcised? Yeah. Absolutely. He is. All right. That's interesting. You never know. He's the Dick mm. Clark of the generation. Allison, who are you dating? You're an actor. <laughs> You're really a dick. I am dating uh, um, an actor named Alexis Denisoff. He's never on, heard of him. That's he's the guy. Angel. Alexis Denisoff. He's the, he's the guy on Angel. Yeah. And he used to Which be guy? The he's the he's the the guy who used to be the watcher when the watcher was. Oh, that fired. guy. He's good. He's yeah, good. He's I like good. that guy. He's You're good. dating him? <laughs> yeah. Does he have a big penis? <laughs> yeah. He's the best penis in he has the, the world. Is he the best lover in the world? Yes. <laughs> he is. Yeah. He's got the best penis in the world. <laughs> His penis is pretty. <laughs> is he a Jew? <laughs> he got one of them Jew penises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now oh let's goodness. get to Natasha. You are a live wire. I oh think. yes, you are. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Let's yeah. talk about your penises. Yeah, uh, uh, Natasha, uh, first of all, you're another, all three of you are attractive actresses. Mm. Uh, what is your story? Are you dating someone? Yes. Um, I can't imagine a man standing up to you. you she's like reading the paper to find out. Uh, she's she's now, you seem like a very tough broad. Are you? Are you a she tough broad? Is, no, no. I'm, I'm really vulnerable inside. I really have a lot of feelings. I really, I mean, I like She's listening to music. Crazy. And I was reading notes about you. You're wild. Uh, you're yeah, you're yeah. 22 years old. Yes. You've been known to pull true. guns out of your pocketbook and wave them at people. Is that correct? Um, true or false? In, false. False? Only at Shannon Elizabeth, for the record, oh. and it was a cap gun. Oh. oh, it was. Yes, it was a cap gun, and it was... Uh, you it was a cap gun at Shannon Elizabeth? <laughs> yes, I just really? wanted... I just uh, I capped her a few times. Right. <laughs> it's about time. And you're I, one um, of those... And, and no, it was actually a... It was, it was a joke. I put on a holster. Yeah. And um, oh, this and was at the press junket. Yeah, that's all oh, it is. Oh, I see. All and right. there's supposed oh, to be a, a blast in a gun. It but, was a gag on But wrong. you're pretty wild. You, you don't, uh, you, 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 like, you're estranged from your parents, right? You don't talk to your mother and father? No, I do talk to my mom. Oh, you often. talk to your mom, not your yes, father? Yes, and my brother, not my father. I love girls like that. Oh, why doesn't man. she talk to dad? Because he's a pain in the ass. Um, Especially. Well, I don't know. Why don't you talk to your dad? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I. Are <laughs> mom and dad separated? The yes, serious They got side. divorced when I was at. Why are you mad at your father for getting divorced? Divorced. Talk to me about your anger, your personal Jesus anger, on a very Christ. special. You want to hear because you just went there, so you um, want to make sure your kids aren't mad yeah, at you. I, I don't know. Hold I mean, it. Just, hold it a second. Yeah. Some, somebody just said something very obnoxious. Yeah. Ah, no. Somebody. Who could that have been? Yeah. <laughs> Again, not a good I idea, am Tara. not confused about my children. I'm teasing you, but I'm saying you want to know about it. I want to know why Natasha is mad at her father. Don't you? Yeah. Are you mad at your father? I love my dad. All right. Allison, are you mad at your father? I love my dad. All right, Natasha, guys, thanks a lot. That's do you love your dad? No, record. that's interesting. I'm mad at Natasha's dad. <laughs> you are. I hate Natasha's dad that fast. <laughs> oh, I hate him seriously. too. Seriously, I haven't talked to him in over a decade. That's not right. Doesn't so, he try to get in touch with you now that you are a movie star? That's right. Uh, yes, an interesting... Uh, yes. Did he abandon the family? Uh, I n no, it was a... <laughs> They had to throw him out of the house. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I mean, honestly, they they got divorced when I was uh, ten years. Old. You know what? With the, guys, <laughs> with the music. The, the music helps. It's a very special. The music doesn't help. All right. All right. Turn off the music. Punk rock helps. <laughs> Punk rock saved my life. When you were ten years old, your parents. Uh, when divorced. I was ten years old, we left. Uh, we left Israel in a hurry, 
And um, at the time, I... Oh, my, so you're a Jewess. Oh. Well, why do you think I can say a kike? So you All admit right. it. You mean um, you left your dad in Israel? <laughs> well, if, if he wants to be in the Holy Land, um, it was during the Intifada. Let me sing Bad song. things happened. The in- <laughs> ain't Kamoshi, ain't you, ain't Kim Okainu. So, so you were in Israel. Yes, we were in Israel. Your dad stayed in Israel. And he stayed there, and then we came back to New York, and we had. And you felt abandoned by your dad. And and not so much abandoned, so much as where's the child support? And then when I was Uh sixteen, I got the the Woody Allen movie, and then he sort of uh, came back into the picture a bit, and that was a little strange. That's not right. That's. But the point is, is we didn't even talk much. uh, He came back into your life when you got a Woody Allen movie. Right. Yeah. Well, and uh, but it it wasn't even so. It wasn't even that dramatic, really. It was just sort of uh, one of these weird subtle things that happens with divorce and why you have to be really careful about divorce. I don't really blame him. I'm not really angry at him. I just don't have you want a relationship. Do well, I just don't have a relationship with him. And isn't it true you're the best type of girl to date because you're always looking for your Daddy. father. Huh? Daddy. That's do you right, date baby. older men? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Um, she's right. <laughs> well, do you date uh, older men? Uh, ben Kingsley aside, which I'd really rather not talk about because that seems inappropriate <laughs> well, with the whole Gandhi thing and all. I, mean, right. that just I guarantee you she dates older guys. That's right. Oh. No, you, not not no. not all the time. Not but a lot. But you do. No, I I um I actually don't date much for probably obvious reasons. But um. Because you're gay. Uh-huh. Oh, no, but she played one in a movie. <laughs> Who did she play? She was she got through was gay and they sent her to a special camp to cure lesbians. Yes, she really? sent me to homosexual rehab. Yeah, it was a funny movie. <laughs> That's yes, funny. But it you is. Know, it was. I wish I'd seen. You should see the smaller pictures once in a while, Howard. Howard, mm-hmm. you know what's interesting? Mm-hmm. Um, she was dating a guy, a celebrity, this guy Eddie Furlong, and then mm-hmm. he went to go out. He went out with somebody else, actually a friend of Tara's, this girl Paris Hilton. Yeah. And I guess Natasha and Paris had some words in a in a in a hotel lobby. You see, it's did interesting. Did you meet up Paris Hilton? No, I did not. However, Paris- Jackie Sheridan, who never gets press, is I feel really bad about I mean the Sheridans are really really a rich family as well Right. I just think now her I had words. But you with. got him fired. Her no, I would like to speak out on part of Jack Sheridan because I think she's a real slut. But your boyfriend Jackie ran Sheridan off. is not a, a good person. Your boyfriend, <laughs> your boyfriend ran Possibly off. because she doesn't it's exist. Sheridan hotels. <laughs> you, your boyfriend ran joke. off with Paris Hilton. No, no, he ran off with Betty Doubletree. Okay, and Who's that, that? Uh, was a bad scene. She's, she's, gonna, she's doing uh, hotel she's gonna keep this oh. Double, oh. Double, no, honestly, 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 that's not true. The, what happened? So painful I, you I'll, can't talk about. No, I'll set, I'll set all the records straight for you. That's what Go I'll ahead, do. Set it I'll set it straight for you. So, because this is the place. Edward and myself, who are still friends, yes. we broke up uh, about four or five months before Paris Hilton began. Right. And um, you broke up with him. Yes, I broke up with him, and okay. I and I moved back to New York City. And then he came out here, and then the New York Post got all this win. And actually, I had a new boyfriend at the time. You did. And it was a bit strange. Who are you dating? I, um, I have been requested by him to not say his name. Is he an actor? Wow. Um, you know what? It's, it's not Sam Kinison. Do all actors date other actors? Is that what's going no. on here? No. No. Sick no. of it. I'm sick this of it. This is my first actor. But, uh, um, I don't know. There was, and Carson was an actor. There was no overlap, and there were there were no words. But I do think that it's interesting that you guys are an intelligent show that gets all your um, material from the New York Post. Well, where I think that's what I get it. Even, even the qu- there was a quote from Paris. That's why it seems so weird. She said she well, felt that you wanted to kill her. Well, I actually enjoy that quote myself because just the idea that she felt that way and that she, you know I I felt bad. I felt really but, bad. But there's something happened. Whether it was words or something, there was some sort of weirdness. no. I mean, I I I think that she um came up to talk to me and then I was blinded by the peroxide and amidst all the heat I was like I couldn't breathe and um, there was like a melting silicone scent and it was just boggling the mind why did you turn why did you turn down roles on Dawson's Creek and Buffy the Vampire Slayer weren't you in fact chosen to be Buffy the Vampire Slayer before Sarah Michelle Gellar yes a long time ago did you not know this (laughs) Allison did you know that no you You two could have worked together sooner you were the you were the first you were the first person to get offered Buffy the Vampire Slayer well when the WB first started I was um, I was uh yeah, they asked me to do any of the shows. So Dawson's Creek and, and Buffy. I but don't think know, I was offered Allison Felicity Hannigan is Everybody freaking out. Everybody says that, oh, they were offered Buffy. No, but I'm not. Uh, you, that's, it's nice, Allison. So, but you, I'm not so, not Nata- <laughs> so Natasha's lying is what you're saying. No, right? no yes. I'm, I'm not. No. I'm not. I mean, I was, I was 16, and I told him the only thing I would want to do was like some sort of Carol Burnett sketch show um, for the WB, but then I decided that I did not want to be committed when I was 16 years old um, to a hospital or the WB. So, really? I just decided to avoid television, which I'm, is a, a choice I'm glad I made. All right, now the three of you are in yes. American Pie 2. Yes. yes. I am excited about the film because I like American Pie 1. Cool. Now, and you will love American Pie 2. Now, now Tara, were you in American Pie 1? 
Obviously. <laughs> Please, Howard. You no, were... I remember Allison's role. I remember her, the, the broad at the end, who basically was wild, but we never knew that the whole movie. Right. Yeah. Natasha, you weren't in American Pie. Of Actually, I'm not in was. either movie. You're Interestingly. In, you just came but in But they here? keep paying me, which rocks. I don't remember who specifically is in the movie. Uh, Mara is in the movie. She was the virgin who went with the guy. She had the boyfriend, and they were making out a lot, but they never did it. And Natasha was the experienced one oh, all right, who yeah. gave I'm all the, the words advice. Of I, I worked you know, five days on the first one, four days on the second one. I have I'm the smallest part. In really? I, I've seen the movie twice, and I don't remember anything about it except I laughed. <laughs> yeah. Because I think I have Alzheimer's disease. <laughs> Yeah. So this is it's when you, always a new movie. When you, you get when you get a role like this and it keeps coming back, do they have to pay you more the second time? Oh yes. Hell yeah. Oh they do. Oh, I yes. got scale for the first movie. You did. And now when they wanted you back for the second one, my microphone's cutting up, Again. which is probably a good thing. Um, you, w when you come back for the second one, what happens? You go in and you go in for the mother load? Yeah. You got a million for this? No. A six hundred thousand? No. A half a mil? <laughs> well, you, a line of coke? You haven't guessed the right number. You might be going the wrong Is country. it over half a million? Yes. It is. Mm. Is wow. it over a million? Wow. Uh, yes. <laughs> I just yeah. Tara's, like, Tara's like, man, I didn't get half a million. <laughs> I got a million, maybe. Did you really? Absolutely. You wow. Man. Nice. I got three million. <laughs> three wow. million what did and you get? 50 big ones. Let's, let's find out what everyone got. <laughs> Natasha, what did you get? Did you get over half a million? Sure. For four days' work. Yeah, no, I'm lying. <laughs> you got less. You got less than half a million. I, 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 I made less than they did, but um, but I, I think I made a, an even. We, oh, y'all have back end deals, right? So, oh, so in other words, I worked much less, and I have a much smaller part. But I'm going to make as much as they will, assuming the movie's number one. So go see it. Go see American Pie too, starting tomorrow. Oh uh, wow! So so oh, we got big back end deals. Is that We're true? On top of our regular. Is yes. that right? If the oh, movie, yeah. if the movie makes, does well, we make two million. <laughs> if the movie does well, you guys will all get a piece of the action. Yes. Absolutely. So that's why you're out there promoting. Or a piece making, of ish. Right. <laughs> Well, you guys are quite the, the uh, catch. Do me a favor, because I'm running out of time with the three of you. First of all, there's a guy who actually received, a, I can only put it this way, a golden shower on his hand from Casey yeah. to meet Tara Reid. He's a fan of Tara Reid. So I'm going to let him meet you then, and then I'll open up the phones and let you guys... Hey, Howard. Don't forget, um, he's got flowers and a poem for Tara that he wrote himself. All right, here it is. Oh, we get to hear the poem, too. Yep. Yay. All right, this is Steve the intern. <laughs> he believes you're going to fall in love with him. Just oh, from looking at him. Oh, yeah, I that's what I thought. Definitely. She likes him. You like him, Tara? He's cute. Uh -oh. Really? This could be oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're my future ex husband. <laughs> well, uh, Steve, you, Casey, did you actually uh, wet his hand? Yeah, I, I gave him a little uh, bit of action, uh, you know. You did. It was fun. Did it seem very gay? Yeah, it did a little bit, but, you know, <laughs> hey, it's, it's for the show, it's cool. You videotaped it because I got to watch that. All right, so he wants to meet Tara Reid, right? So the guy said uh, the only way you can meet Tara Reid is if Casey goes... Wait a minute. The only, re the only way shower. that you can meet Tara Reid is if Casey goes a golden shower on your hand. So uh, this is a strange day at work for me. I guess I'm going to have to piss on his hands. All right, man, throw your hand in there. <laughs> it's fucked up. All right, dude. All right. Really? We want to... Oh, oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How weird is that? <laughs> there it is. On tape. Oh. Nice job, Case. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Two of you are really hot together. <laughs> that is great. You I'm know, releasing I that. Never, mm, hey, I can never we put that up on the that. internet? <laughs> Casey doing that to Steve? <laughs> that is funny. That's got to go up on the website. Feet on a dude's okay, hand. Okay, Tara, now that you know where that hand is <laughs> <He's been>. <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. hope that's what Steve, you obviously have a crush on Tara Reid. Yes. You can see why. She's a beautiful girl. Why Why? Uh, why not? And But to do Tell this... Tell Tara what, you, what she means to you. Yeah, go ahead. You've earned your time on the mic. <laughs> well, I don't know her personally, but I think she's very attractive. She's very cute, and I have a big crush on her. So, I wanted to meet her and bring her roses. And what about the poem? Those roses Do look like like, like like garbage. But go ahead. <laughs> what about this temperature outside? I didn't really have much of a choice. I couldn't get him this morning. Don't look at me. Look at Tara. Yeah, really. You big homo. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. That's go your ahead. girl. Read your poem. Maybe All that'll right, sway goes. her. If Tara don't want you, maybe Natasha will go for you. Go ahead. <laughs> Natasha's right. yawning already. Allison has a boyfriend. <laughs> go ahead. All right. <clears throat> One day I was feeling bad. I needed something to make me glad. 
Then a commercial oh. caught my eye. It was for American Pie. Mm. All my sorrow disappeared when this beautiful angel appeared. Dude, you are such a loser. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Hold on. <laughs> People began to talk about Nadia, the topless chick. I just told them the cute blonde is my pick. When I see your innocent oh, smile, man. I start to get dizzy. I promise I'll never run anyone over like your friend Lizzie. Oh. Points. Uh, nice. You just ruined it right now. Oh, you You'll never run over anyone yeah. like Lizzie Grubman? All right, that's I nice. Promise. Go ahead, yeah. Your big, pretty eyes make me smile a ton. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm not as bad as Carson. My crush for you is incurable. <laughs> You're just way too adorable. Wow. Uh, Dang it. That's my favorite. <laughs> what a douche. He tried to throw incorrigible in there, didn't he? Into the glad and bad. Yeah, yeah. Glad back to the you said that about Lizzie, and then it. You know, Gary made me put it. that. I'm sure you don't want to shake his hand, do you? Because I'm not touching him. <laughs> He's not touching him now. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, you happened. got to meet your uh, girlfriend. All right. Can I? Have you ever pledged yourself to her image? Be honest. Yes. You have. You think yeah, about it. Oh, I definitely don't want the flowers <laughs> now. Oh, the same hand that KCP you know, or, uh, You close. You Tara. close your eyes and you think about Tara. Can you play me? Well, I'm just asking if you have. Oh my God! He just looked at me when he said that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go jump out of the. All right, let's go. I'll open it for you. Let's go to Al. Al, you're on the air. Yes. Good morning. I happen to be, uh, you know, frequenter of CPI in the Hamptons. Yeah. And I was wondering, Tara, you say so a matter of factly that Lizzie Grubman had uh, no alcohol. Did you see her ingest any liquid at all that evening? What do you think? I'm like, stand next to the girl and watch her. Well, would you know if she had a drink or not? Did you see her drinking Coca-Cola, perhaps? No, I didn't. I honestly didn't see her drinking anything. Yeah, well, I happen to know somebody who is an ecstasy dealer, and she was drinking water all night because she had taken ecstasy. Bullshit. That's Boy, bullshit. don't say the S word. No S word there, little Miss Gutter Mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. <laughs> you don't know that she took ecstasy. Yes, I happen to know emphatically no, that no, she you did. Don't. You know what? You are full of it. The the ecstasy. Lying. Hello. Man, you know what? Hang up on him. He's a no, jerk. No, don't hang up on yeah, me. If you're hang up on him. Anybody, let's, let's, right let's, now, let's, let's, wait a second, wait a second. Don't Please. get rough with me, because if you come here right now, I'll punch you in the face. You know what? I'll tie you up, and I'll leave you in a room for Dude, an hour. I'll get my cap gun, and I'll beat your ass. <laughs> I'll kick all your asses all right, like listen, I did Gary Busey. Don't Busey's. hang up on me, because I'm on to something here. No, no, let me say something. First ahead, of all, you don't know. this? He's not tested anybody. You don't know that she was on ecstasy, number one. And it's illegal, so she probably wasn't doing it. Of course. she was. Have a test it. All right, let me. You know what? I'm listening. I'm sorry. Please don't let me ask. Me. Let me no, ask Tara. Tara, let me ask you one question. Yes. Did you see anyone that night doing ecstasy? First of all, no. All right. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, she was drinking plenty of water. I was there that evening when she people had don't just see you. You're bouncer. saying she drank water, and now you think she's on ecstasy. If you drink Let water, me tell you something. The girl wasn't on ecstasy, and she was drinking hours. water. Definitely Besides, they don't have ecstasy, raves in the Hamptons. They don't have raves in the Hamptons. Hamptons is a bunch of rich Jewish yeah. people that have yeah. a lot of money. Rich Jews don't do And Martha Stewart. It's the Jews. It was the Jews. Let's blame it on the Jews, right? It was Lizzie Goodman, the Jew. What? Kara, the rich Jews who have a lot of money do designer drugs. That's called ecstasy. Oh, you know what? You're just Bitter and you wish you know you had what you are? You're an like anti semite, buddy, and it's not getting past me. You, you wish second. you were a Jew on ecstasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know what you're into. Yeah. You're probably the dealer, but you're the drug dealing buddy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Tara, I just find Tara it fascinating that you all right, all right, all right. Listen, <laughs> let's uh, go Carson see, Bailey. let's agree to see Tara Reed, Natasha Leone, and Allison Hannigan in American Pie 2. The girls will get a nice piece of the back end if uh, you go to see it. Everybody should go to see it. What if we just, in the back end. Thanks, Robin. Right. <laughs> That's a good last question. Let's start with Natasha. What? Do you like it in the, uh, do you, do you, would you consider doing anal sex with a man? In other words, in the, through the vacuum. No, no, no. I mean, just in, in your private life. Are you in open my, to that? Are you open to that sex act? Back end. I am, I am not open. To that. Okay. I am a virgin. I, we didn't talk about it. No, you're not. not. Not if you were with Eddie Furlong in that crowd. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Eddie has never had sex, but that's... <laughs> what? You Get guys out are of here. Really Keep lying. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a liar. Allison <laughs> Hannigan. Go ahead, Allison. The Allison. innocent Allison Hannigan from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, American Pie 2. Would you be what open you to that kind of man? sex? Now, why would you make that facial expression when you? Oh, it's painful. Expression? Would you? Would, are you he, open when to that? When he did it, it was painful. If you're in love with a man, you take it in. No, the no, paper. no, no. You can't say that. Do you like? Do you? Do you like anal sex? Uh, Tara. You, if you're <laughs> uncomfortable like, answering it, that's no, Tara. No. No way. I wouldn't even consider it. You're telling me Carson Daly didn't get you hot enough 
<laughs> that you just had to have that? He got me hot enough, but no, not he didn't. Had it, and he got me on the other end. Then you haven't had sex yet, honey. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's no, right. that's because you like it. I don't like it. I've done it a few times. It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> These guys really just, they, they, they don't. don't prepare you. Is Lizzie Grubman into anal? Yeah. Knock it no, off, would she Howard. know? Howard yeah, well, she might I know. know. It's not like I have a penis. Yeah. If she's on yeah. ecstasy, she is. Yeah, when she it's does ecstasy. If, if, she, if she does ecstasy. You guys, right. stop. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm sorry, it's just the image of you watching her getting all right. it in me. I want to thank all of you for coming in. Tara, Natasha, Allison, thank you so much. And good luck with the film. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Howard, I will be back. I hope you'll be back. I will be back. I, I hope so, yes. I, I think we've straightened our, our lives out. Yes. I hope all three again. of you come back. We're yes. friends again. Absolutely. We'll be back right I after have friends with Howard. There we go. <laughs> and uh, tell Lizzie I said hello. I will. <laughs> Please do. All right. I'm not getting in a car with her. All right. Is she, is she back to driving, by the way? Is Lizzie back to driving? She is a driver. She does. Smart yes. move. Good idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so, dude, you got to meet her. Yes. What'd you think? She's gorgeous. Was it worth getting your yeah. hand? Yeah, it was know, funny. It was funny. Urinated yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So it was all worth it? Sure. Yep. All right. All right. Thanks, Steve. Cool. <laughs> KGP on that guy's hand. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Me and Howard made out for friends. It's all good. It's all good? Yes. No problems no more? No problems. Right? It was good. Let's go. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye Tara. Bye. What do, you, what do you think about the guy who peed on, peed on, his, got peed on his hand? I didn't take the flowers. I was a little scared of him. You gotta be honest. Were you surprised that a guy was willing to do that to meet you? That's very nice, but I'm still not going to take your flowers. <laughs> Allison, you seem a little too overwhelmed in there. Uh, no, I just, uh, I'm not very controversial. So I just um, <laughs> sat oh, <shit>. and... <laughs> um, sorry. Oh, sorry. I sat and watched, uh, watch you two in action. Because you're just all controversy all the time. You know what? Huh. I'm not the one who wore the, um... The hey, the boobs, come on. Oh, you touched them. You <laughs> Um, why do we have to walk at this pace? Because you are. Because it's a little disturbing. I'm actually from New York, born and raised here. So you're yeah, walking so, this so slow. Just, just keep going. She may not be controversial, but she loves jogging. So. Did, you guys, did you guys have a good time, though? Yeah, Sarah just booked right out of here, huh? Yeah. She, she was late. Like she has to go she to somewhere. She show. Huh. It's She's the trouble of being a, a young uh, starlet in a yeah. serious business. Exactly. After you. All right, guys. Take care. Ready